Hey guys, Ham Solo here, K0FYR, or in GMRS land, Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759. So what I'm going to be doing today is I am going to take the Ocean KGUV9G from Better Safe Radios, and we are going to do programming a repeater from the face of the unit, uh, including uh, adding split tones. And so I had traveled to Nebraska for work, and while I was there, I wanted to be able to get on to a GMRS repeater and see uh, if I could do that in the field. I did not bring my uh, actual computer with me. I didn't bring the programming software. I did not bring the pro programming cable. And so uh, when I went and looked them up uh, online in the hotel, uh, I found that there was a local repeater frequency uh, they were using split tones, uh, specifically digital coded squelch split tones. And so I wanted to program it from the radio without using uh, the software or the cable uh, in order to do that. And so I'm making a video to show you how easy it is uh, for you to go in there and program any repeater from anywhere right from the face of the radio without having to use the software provided by uh, the manufacturer or the programming cable. I can just do it straight from the face of the radio. And so that's what this video is going to show. In addition, uh, I'll also be showing you how you can mute your sub-channel so that if you get communications on both channels at the same time, channel A and B, you don't have to listen to both at the same time where it gets confusing and you can't tell who's talking and they're talking on top of each other. And so there is a setting in the menu function in order to mute the sub-channel when the other channel is active and getting your signal. And so I will also show you how to do that. So appreciate you watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell icon. This is Ham Solo K0FYR, Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759. So I'm on mygmrs.com and I'm going to click on the map button and it is going to show you the map of all of the GMRS repeaters that are located in the United States. I was going to Nebraska, so I zoom in on Nebraska. I'm gonna be at Scott's Bluff there in the Panhandle. You can see that there's a Panhandle repeater network, and when I click on it, it's gonna give me my tone uh, for in and out, and this is what we're gonna be programming into the radio. All right, so I have the uh, KG UV9G Pro from Better Safe Radio sitting here on the uh, the little TV tray, and I've got my camera set up so I can record straight down onto the face of the machine. Uh, you'll notice that I have uh, uh, both uh, channel areas, channel A and channel B, enabled, so it's a, like a dual a dual uh, listen right now. Uh, or at least watch and so whichever one I have the main button on and you can see the main up there on the top where it says GMRS 1C and then it says main above 001 so that's the one that's active uh, if I wanted to transmit if I wanted to transmit to the other one I just simply go down here to where it says band button and I press that band button and that drops the main down to the channel B side and so Again, main button, press of band, sends it from channel A to channel B, channel A, channel B, right? So instead of uh, programming in that Nebraska repeater from scratch, I'm actually going to use a different bank of channels that's inside this radio's uh, programming uh, already. And so Better Safe Radios is included you know, upwards of 800 to 900 channels already pre-programmed. Included in those are four different banks of GMRS repeater channels. And so you can see down there in channel B where it says GMRS R15. That's the first bank, GMRS repeater 15. And again, if I turn uh, the center knob, that is going to be the channel uh, changer, right? And so if I'm going to go up there and turn that knob, you'll see, whoops, I didn't switch the main down to the bottom. So you'll see repeater 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Those are the repeater uh, input frequencies, right? And so that is a bank of repeater channels. 
So instead of like reprogramming all of those every time you want to put a repeater in, I'm just going to go to the second bank of those same repeater channels. So again, if I'm on R15, I go up to R22, and if I keep turning, it's GMRS B bank of repeater channels, and you see GMB repeater 15, and it goes up to 22, and then I turn it again, it's GMRS C bank, the C repeater channels, 15 through 22, and turn one more time, GMRS D bank, so the fourth bank of repeater channels, starting at 15 and going to 22. And so all I did to do the Nebraska repeater was from the uh, unit itself without using programming software, I just came over here to this bank, the D, GMRS D repeater bank, no reason other than it was just further away. And the uh, channel that I want is that GMD R15 channel and if I hold down the TDM VMR switch I'm sorry TDR VM switch that's that one right there TDR VM if I hold that down I can sit there and go that's just entering a channel frequency that is the actual channel itself channel 55 hold it again that's the frequency I want, 462550. That's what it's called, GMD R15. And so I already know that's the frequency, right? Because I looked it up on the uh, computer onto mygmrs.com, and I found out that the frequency for that panda panhandle repeater was 462550. So again, I already know that that is the frequency that's loaded in channel 55 462550 that's the one I want and so now I just have to go into the menu and change the PL tones so the tone I need in order to transmit I'm gonna press the menu button that's glowing orange there and so I'm gonna press the menu button and I'm going to just use the arrow keys to move up through until I find receive CTC that's the uh, continuous tone coded squelch we're not using that transmit continuous tone coded squelch we're not using that either we're using those receive digital coded squelch because that's what the repeater book said that they were using and so that one needs to be set and so if I press the menu button again well I waited too long so let me get back to it so hold down the menu button and it says D043N and that is the tone that I need to listen to so once uh, once I transmit to the repeater I have to have that tone in in order to listen to the output of the channel and so again that's the receive tone the transmit tone the tone that I am transmitting into the repeater to get it to activate is D 143 in so that's the channel I need in order to transmit so I hit yes now if I wanted to change those when I'm on the number I can just sit here and scroll through with the arrow keys and change it to whichever one I want and that's the benefit of having all those extra uh, repeater banks because you could have repeaters all over that are using the same frequencies and all you got to do is, is go in and program bank B to be whatever code you need for bank for the uh, repeaters in certain areas bank C for you know a different set of codes and repeaters in your area and so again on this one I just took the uh, frequency 462550 which is repeater number 15 and I'm in the D bank of repeater channels and so once I was on it and I just held down the menu button and I got to transmit the digital coded squelch I entered the code D143N to transmit and to receive D043N to receive and that's called split tones and so once I had those entered then I was able to communicate on 
that repeater network in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. And so other than that, uh, basically anybody that buys the radios from Walmart or, you know, uh, Academy Sports and Outdoors or something, and they buy those uh, cheaper bubble wrap radios, uh, normally those those types of radios, whether they're FRS or GMRS, are, are fairly cheap, and they're not able to do split tones. So if you entered 143 on one, it would be 143 automatically on the other one because they can't separate those. And that's what what enables you to keep you know, cheaper made radios off of your system if you're using split tones. And so once I got that thing programmed in, I was able to listen to uh, some older gentlemen talking about colonoscopies and then, uh, you know, uh, them giving orders to Malachi to come check the new people out that came into town. So appreciate you watching. That's pretty much it for uh, programming in uh, split tones and repeater channels on the KGUV9G from the face of the radio. Okay, and I'm going to show you uh, an additional feature that's called muting the sideband or the uh, sub channel. So right now I have two different channels in the radio. Uh, I don't even know what CAP R67A is, but it's going, giving me static on that channel. And then I have the... Uh, VHF uh, two meter uh, national calling frequency for ham radio on the bottom channel and so uh, what can happen is if you have uh, this certain feature turned off which is kind of default to how the radio comes uh, basically you'll be listening to both channels at the same time uh, some people like to do that if they're monitoring uh, but I find it a little bit annoying uh, when you get uh, two actual voices occurring at the same time on the same radio, it's hard to distinguish uh, what each of them are saying. And so in order to fix that, what you would do is activate a feature in the menu, and I think it's item number 55 called uh, uh, sub-mute or s-mute. And so right now, uh, that CAP67 uh, channel is giving static occasionally. And if someone were to call on that 2 meter channel, uh, you'd probably hear that as more static. And so, uh, depending on how far you are from a source, uh, you'd be hearing both at the same time. So let's see if I can uh, pick that up and make that happen when we get closer to a, a radio and give static on both. Of course, now it doesn't want to do it. So that's static from both channels actually occurring at the same time. And so if that imagine if that was two people speaking, you'd be hearing both of them speak at the same time. And so I'm going to turn that feature off. And so uh, I'm going to place the radio down. I'm going to press the orange glowing menu button. I'm going to find, oh, there it is already set, uh, menu uh, S mute, and that is, oh, I was wrong, it's menu item 60, and so if I hold down S, uh, the menu button on S mute, it'll say off, receive mute, transmit mute, or both, receive and transmit mute, and so I'm going to select that, and so I'm going to have it set to uh, receive and transmit mute. Now, whichever uh, uh, channel that I have the main button on, the other one will automatically be muted if a signal comes in on both. And so, let's see if I can get... There's the static on the first one. And let's try to see if we can make the static happen on the second one. And so the static is happening on the second one, but you don't hear it anymore because my main button is on the top, so it is receive and transmute, uh, transmit muting the bottom channel. So even though I'm getting audio on the top channel, I can't hear the static on the bottom channel. And again, if these were voices, you wouldn't be hearing what the second channel is doing because you've now muted the sub-channel. Now, if I switch that... Uh, Subchannel using the band button down to the bottom. Now what's going to happen is if I get uh, static or someone talking on the bottom, 
I don't hear the top anymore. And so now I'm hearing the static on the two meter call. Uh, but I wouldn't be hearing it on the bottom, and I might have to I might have to go in the menu and do that again uh, because it may not be set for that. No, it's on there, and so it's already set. And so I'm saying receive and transmit mute on the sub band, which is now the top band. You can see it's got the little phone icon, but it's not doing the static. It's because it's muted right now uh, while uh, uh, I'm receiving signal on the uh, bottom channel. So if I get no signal on the bottom channel, I can hear the top channel. But as soon as I as soon as I start getting, whoops, dropped everything. As soon as I start getting my static on the two meter call, if I can find it, focus a little bit. It should start muting the top. And so let me switch it back. To the top, I'm getting the static on the bottom, and I can't hear it because I've muted that. And so that's how you mute that sub channel. Well, that was it. That was the uh, recording of the split tone repeater programming on the front, and the muting of the sub channel uh, when you're in dual watch mode. So, again, thanks for watching Ham Solo K0FYR Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759 73.